All right, what's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here, founder and CEO of Executive Stride. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how to generate B2B leads by creating LinkedIn sales navigator searches, how to find targeted prospects, the right buyers, understand key insights and engage with personalized outreach. Let's get right into it. All right, so if you're not familiar with Sales Navigator, it's a paid add-on for LinkedIn, all right? LinkedIn is the biggest B2B hub in the world, and Sales Navigator is the pretty much their best tool in terms of like finding targeted prospects on their on their uh, platform and, you know, basically you can leverage that to, you know, do outbound prospecting to them, all right? So, advanced lead and company search lead recommendations, CRM integration, real-time sales updates, notes and tags, who zooed your profile, in-mail messages, smart links, presentations, uh, team link. All right, there's a bunch of stuff within Sales Navigator. Honestly, to be honest, like to tell you guys the truth, I only use it for, I don't leverage like the whole entire thing. Like I, I'm, I'll show you what I use it for mainly. Um, but there's a few different plans. So LinkedIn Sales Navigator plans and pricing. There's core, advanced, and advanced plus. You contact them for advanced plus. Um, let's see if it shows pricing here. Um, okay. So here is the pricing upgrade to achieve your goals Explore other plans. So there, there's a few different like plans you can get with LinkedIn. You can get career business. Um, I think there's like a recruiting plan, but sales navigator advanced or sales navigator is the plan you would want to create targeted searches, etc. So um, here's what you get. I'm not going to go through it all. It's pretty standard um, stuff. Let's see. But it is $114 Canadian. So it's like about uh, it's about $100 US per month for Sales Navigator Core. That's what, you know, pretty much I use. Uh, Sales Navigator Advanced is $189.99 Canadian. So uh, you can just do the conversion for USD. But um let's see you just get a few extra things mainly for like teams and stuff there's also like team accounts you can get there's certain like ways you can get cheaper accounts etc but these are the main two plans uh you really only need the core plan to be honest unless you're doing some specific stuff um it really depends if you have a huge team you may and you all want to use it maybe then you want to use like a team plan so uh, but anyways, let's actually dive into the tool. Um, so here's what it looks like. I can go to home and I haven't really set much stuff up within sales navigator. And I honestly, I don't even really use many of these tabs besides creating searches. And I'll show you in just a second, but, uh, here are alerts, bookmarked alerts. Um, you can filter by accounts or leads. So accounts are companies all right so a company account leads are prospects like person people all right so leads these are actually people uh, and then accounts are companies as you can see quantum whatever so you can go ahead select which ones you can select filters you can sort by relevance or latest you can see here personas so identify leads that match your ideal buyer by defining your personas so you can create personas, uh, so like se seniority level, right? Function, jo current job title, geography. I don't really do too much of that stuff, uh, to be honest. And yeah, I don't really play around too much with that account. So this is where you can create account, uh, account searches. So. Actually, these are accounts. We'll show your saved account searches list. So you can create lead searches and account searches within Sales Navigator and then save them as account lists or lead lists. So these are your account lists. I don't have any here. In lead lists, we should... Oh, no, I guess we don't have any. So lead lists is where you could save uh, leads to the list. Okay, so actually, I believe this is where you would save individual uh, leads or accounts, right? So the save searches are actually where you would, cr uh, create your full searches with filters 
and then you could save them to saved lead searches or or saved account searches okay so i don't have any current current uh saved account searches on this account but uh we do have some saved lead searches as you can see here and then messaging i'm not going to get into that but it would actually show your inbox and sales navigator has a different inbox than your normal linkedin messenger all right it sometimes can get a little confusing it's not really that confusing it's just it's not that big of a deal it's just some like if you're doing in mails and this and that you can message people and it can go into their sales navigator inbox or something like this i don't know linkedin's been changing so maybe something has changed in regards to that it's not that big of a deal um and then yeah this will just show up here settings upgrade your plan sales navigator coach referrals who's viewed your profile social selling index user agreement but all this stuff right here all right so you can go back to your linkedin uh as normal and when you're actually in your linkedin just to show you the way you access sales navigator is um say if i'm here in linkedin it's just up here in the right corner you click here and it's going to take you to sales navigator right so that is how you get to sales navigator now i'm going to show you the main stuff that i actually use sales navigator for which is creating lead searches all right lead and account searches but mainly i use lead searches so this is what it kind of looks like um when you're creating a new search once you've already created a search it's going to look like this and you can just like create other searches from this um interface or you can you know and you can do lead or account i'll show you that in a second but let's just say we're creating something from scratch so um first i can either choose an, a lead search or an account search here's what an account search looks like this is where we're, we will be looking for companies and you can search through annual revenue you can change the uh, currency you can change to minimum or maximum and these this is mi millions so zero millions 0 0.5 million so 500k 1 million to 2.5 mil uh all this stuff right to maximum millions so that's annual revenue company headcount all right company gro uh, headcount growth um headquarters location right and search through here you can even do by region or postal code industry so you can search through industry there's a bunch of different industries here boom 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 you can go through here um you know staffing or recruiting and with pretty much every type of filter system like filter that you can do is you can in include certain stuff and you can also exclude certain stuff so if i wanted to create a search for it services and it consulting um that's great but i want to exclude market research well that's what i just did right and i can easily just exit this here and if i if i'm including it services and it consulting and then i'm like actually i want to exclude that i can just hover over it and click that now i'm excluding that all right makes sense perfect all right next is number of followers so company pages they have followers on linkedin so you can set those filters if you like spotlight so job opportunities are they hiring on linkedin uh, recent activities senior leader leadership changes in the last three months funding events in the last 12 months workflow so companies in crm saved accounts this would be like if you're using uh, sales navigator within as like a crm or saving accounts you can add some filters to include uh to include or exclude certain uh people that you're already conversating with within sales navigator or already within your crm um so yeah that's pretty much it right so let's just say I, I did a little search here just for the sake of things headquarters location let's say Toronto All right company headcount uh 1 to 50 1 to or 11 to 50 1 to 10 annual revenue 500k actually let's do 5 215 to 10 mil yeah, there's obviously not a lot this is small this is a very targeted thing within toronto so um okay that added a bit more um there's 182 results i would i don't usually do too much account searches but if i was i would probably do a bit more um a bit more of a broad search so maybe i would want to do 
500k to 10 mil. And we got 4k. Let me just do 1 mil to 10 mil. Okay, I mean, I, I it's fine. It's okay. Um, so, yeah, and, I, and like I said, you can add more filters, get more customized. But let's say I wanted to, so I, you can click here and click either view company or view similar. You can also save these companies. One, you could select all or select specific ones. And you could either save or you could view current employees of said companies. So you could do that for all of them, or you could do that for say, like if I just wanted to do here, view current employees. Now it's basically moved. So here, actually, let me just do this. Let me go back here. I could select all. I don't know if you can select all 4K ever or not, but I've selected 25. So just the ones on this page. Um, and I could do view current employees. And it's going to pull all those companies over here into the lead search and it's going to pull them for current company. Now we're seeing all the employees for all those companies. All right. So there is 718. So I can see here if I really wanted to, I could go here um, to current job title. And I, if I only wanted like founders, founder, co-founder, owner all right so now we're getting only the ones with owner or co-founder or founder in their linkedin now keep this in mind um sales navigator is not always 100 percent accurate also the reason being is because people have keywords in their profiles and just because you know you put founder for something doesn't necessarily mean they're like that's their main they may have founded some specific company or some side project that they're not really worried about or whatever it's on their linkedin and it could potentially pull founder because of that um now if you're doing it in current job title you shouldn't really get too much of that but if you're doing it in something up here like keywords uh, you may get some of that so just to go over um so that pretty much explains like the account stuff uh to a degree obviously there's a lot more you can do but let's get into lead searches which is where most of you will probably get um most of your focus in and you know at least at the start depends on what type of company you are if you're a big huge enterprise company and you're targeted specific accounts you may really benefit from account searches um but if you're not in, if you're not, if you don't fall into that category, you're probably going to use the lead search a lot more. Um, you could use account search to build targeted companies and then find the employees and just find the specific job titles for them. That could work too, but, um, I typically use lead searches. So you have company headcount. So pretty self-explanatory. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, current company, past company, company type. So that would be things like Public, privately held, non-profit, educational institution, partnership, self-employed, self-owned, government agency. You have company headquarters, right? Uh, current job title, past job title, function, seniority level, years in current company, years in current position, activities and shared positions, posted content. So you can see um, keywords and articles. So that's kind of cool. Uh, connections. So there's first degree connections, secondary connections, group members, third degree connections, and team link connections. So team link is something to do with sales navigator. I, I never use this, um, third degree connections. So first degree connections means that we're connected. You're connected with someone that would be like, if like it, it, connections on LinkedIn, it's like you connected with someone, right? It's kind of like you added them as a friend. That's what a connection is, right? So that, that's first degree connections. Second degree connections would be like a friend of a friend. So you're connected to someone that's connected to someone, right? So if I'm connected to Joe and and Joe is connected to Sally, but I'm not connected to Sally, that would be a second degree connection, right? And then a third degree connection just basically adds another level to that. If I'm connected to Joe, Joe's connected to Sally and Sally's connected to uh, Tim. All right. Tim would be my third degree connection. All right. So that is what those 
degrees mean and then group members are basically you can target groups and get group members all right so group members can be good to target as well because you can get targeted people in groups with specific interests so um yeah and then geography you know pretty important you can target you know uh region postal code you know states provinces etc countries industry all right same sort of thing right years of experience connections of if you have specific people you want to target connections of specific influencers or something like that you can use that groups so this is where you can add groups if you only want to target people with a fir the specific first name like some only people with the name josh or only people with the last name smith you can do you can add that here uh profile language all right if you want to that's pretty self-explanatory whatever language they speak team link connections of school so if you want to target people at a specific school or at a school that you went to you can put that here uh workflow so this would be stuff to do with the crm so lead lists so all lead lists Emmanuel, these are just lead lists of the account people in crm so to enable filter upgrade contract so you need to upgrade to a different uh, sales navigator plan persona this is where your personas will show account lists uh people you interact with remove profile viewed uh, people remove contact of people so you could do that and then save lead accounts so yeah that's pretty much it so i'll, I'll show you kind of say if i want to just target you know a basic um like uh i don't know marketing marketing companies right company head count let's just do 11 to 50. geography let's do united states include all right um what else current job title let's do founder owner co-owner um co-founder oh, we did that co owner um chief executive officer uh, ceo all right so you could like type in your job titles whatever you can also exclude job titles so let's say we didn't want sales rep salesperson let's say we didn't want this you go ahead and exclude this you gotta like get grain granular with this and really nitty-gritty i'm showing you a basic search here i would spend a lot more time getting really nitty-gritty with this um seniority level you can go ahead play around with this if you like you could like exclude entry level positions um you know exclude training and unpaid all right you could go ahead and include some of these if you want years and company so you could try this out too do like uh three to five years if you wanted a little bit more experienced people um what else let's say we wanted second degree connections only you don't need to do first degree connections if they're connecting because you're already connected to those people um okay let's just remove this so we can get a little bit more broad okay, so we have 1000 now um oh industry i didn't even choose that yet um marketing wait advertising i think they changed some of these uh filters yeah i think they did they updated some of them i believe because there used to be a different marketing one i believe like marketing and advertising were i believe the same um filter it looks like now they're two separate so okay if i remove secondary connections we should get a broader search much broader actually um here let's just do third degree and second degree
Okay. That's still too broad. Way too broad, but you get the point, right? I, I typically like to get a search anywhere between... You get the point. I typically like to get a search anywhere between 1,000 to 4,000. Like sometimes a little bit lower, sometimes a little bit higher, but um, it really depends. You got to play around. It depends on the industry you're targeting and what prospects you're looking for. But Sales Navigator is extremely powerful. And I'll show you something too. I did a video on this last time. But say if I had a search, Say this was targeted 3.5 target. Oh, also too, guys, let me go ahead and finish one more thing. Keywords up here are very important as well. So you can type in keywords like I could type in um, coach, right? Do a search for that. I'm actually going to show you over here because I like this interface better. But you can see here I searched business coach. Now, if I just search business coach, you'll see this watch business coach. I'm going to get much more results. The Before it was 3.5K. Now I'm getting 77K. The reason being is because it's just searching for the word business and coach. And it can be anywhere within their profile. Now if I do it within. All right. So if I put this keyword in between these quotation marks, then it's going to only search for this phrase business coach, not each word individually. It must say the word business coach somewhere within their whole entire profile. Keep in mind, a, a LinkedIn profile is comprised of a bunch of different things from experience to the headline to this to that job title. So it can say it in any specific part of that from their bio to whatever, right? Um, so now I'll go over one little thing real quick. I'm not gonna get too into this because you can get kind of advanced with uh, this. There's something called um, all right, so this is what a Boolean search kind of looks like. So um, when you use Sales Navigator filters, you can add keyword modifiers to be more precise in your searches. So here are the modifiers or Boolean, um, you know, parameters or modifiers that you can add. So you can do and or not quotation marks, like I told you, or parentheses. All right. so. And if you use the and modifier, if you would like to search for profiles that include two terms and can separate those terms with the, uh, you can separate those terms with the uppercase word and, however, you don't have to use and if you enter two terms, the search engine will assume there is an and between them. All right. So examples, sales and director, sales manager and B2B sales prospecting all right next is the or modifier so if you would like to broaden your search or find profiles that include one or more terms you can separate those terms with the uppercase word or or is most often used to search for alternative spellings or for terms that mean the same thing so you could do sales operations and in, in quotation marks or sales ops or vice presidents or vice president or VP or V dot P or V dot P dot or SVP. All right. And then not is the next modifier. So if you would like to do a search, but want to exclude a particular term, type that term with an uppercase, not immediately before it, your search results will exclude any profile containing that term. So not director or director, not executive, not VP. All right. And then quotation marks. So if you would like to search for an exact phrase or terms that include punctuations or punctuation enclose the phrase in quotation marks, you can use these in addition to other modifiers. So sales manager or account representative or human resources manager. And then parentheses. So if you would like to do a complex search, you can combine terms and modifiers. So marketing and B to B or B to C in parentheses or advertising, not print or B to C. All right. So that's, I feel like you're combining modifiers. So if you want to say and or or not like all those, right? I think you get the point. If you want, you can watch that back. I know it's, it took me a little bit to wrap my head around all of that and really understand it, but you can play around with it. Get the gist. Like I could go here and type in um, 
the business coach, not high school. Uh, and let me do here. So you don't want coaches of like high school coaches. All right. And as you can see, it went to 2.5 K. So if I just remove this at 3.5 K, but when I added the knot, it got more targeted, right? We don't want a thousand people that have the word high school. Uh, well, I mean, high school could mean like they're going to high school at a specific thing, right? Maybe if we, if we really wanted to try it, I mean, the thing is they couldn't, may not say high school coach. Exactly. But I mean, just to be safe, you could try this, not high school, because uh, you will see some high school coaches if you're targeting the just the word coach. But you can play around with it. You can get really targeted with Boolean searches. It's a little bit more of, of an advanced tactic, but um, it's not too crazy once you get the hang of things. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. One other thing, like I said, once you create your search, you can actually use our tool Stride Leads to go over here and start extracting contact details it will extract their emails all that stuff i made a video a couple days ago on how to actually use stride leads mixed with sales navigator so if you want to learn more about that go check out that video i'm not going to talk about it in this video but that's pretty much it for sales navigator guys a lot of people were kind of asking me about how to create targeted lists and sales navigator etc so this is the video for you. If you have any questions or if I miss anything, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Sales Navigator is a very, very powerful tool. We have generated hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of uh, business for our clients as well as ourselves, our company, using LinkedIn. Like, we've actually, yeah, we've generated over a million dollars worth of business millions uh for our company as well as our clients utilizing just Sales Navigator, just LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is super powerful. We ran our whole business at one point, literally off the back of generating LinkedIn uh, leads. Like this is a lot, a long time ago. So LinkedIn is extremely powerful. Um, and it still is right. LinkedIn to this day, if you're familiar with LinkedIn, they have uh, gotten, you know, very, very strict with outreach and a bunch of different things. So you have to really know what you're doing in order to make it work. But if you do, it's an extremely powerful platform as well as the data on LinkedIn is extremely, extremely powerful. So if you know what you're doing, you can still cash out using LinkedIn as well as some other methods, right? I always say you don't just want to rely on one specific method or one specific mode of outreach or whatever, because that's just a strategy. That's on a business. A business has a bunch of different strategies and systems. And, you know, just if one method dies down, it doesn't mean your whole business explodes. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions let me know in the comments down below if you like this type of content make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications and like the video i greatly appreciate it also too guys if you're new to this channel make sure to check out our free stride community you can go here join the stride community for free and then also too guys uh our accelerate your stride six day challenge it will be dropping very soon guys you can go here links for all this will be in the description below and you can just join the wait list. It's a very, very valuable challenge. It's for free, guys. No no hidden fees or anything like that. It's free. So you can just join, get instant access once it drops. And it's going to be dropping soon. All right, guys. So other than that, hope you enjoy this video, guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling. Keep grinding. And, of course, accelerate your stride. Take care, guys.